February is heart month and we're working to raise awareness about different types of heart disease. Did you know almost one in 100 children are born with a congenital heart defect? And it's not always something the doctors detect right away. Tonight, we introduce you to a boy who has lived through quite a bit and he's got a lot more living left to do. So this is Charlie. <laughs> At just four years old, Charlie Helvey has been through more than many of us. But meeting him, you'd never know it. Hi. Even if you ask him. When we went up, we went into our old house. I just got surgery, and it, and they had to take my tonsils out. That's not the surgery. You see, Charlie was born December 16th, 2017, the second child for mom Emma, and like kids do. Charlie got sick and started breathing rapidly. Like any parent, Emma did everything she could to make sure he was okay. We uh, took him to the ER and it was during the time of cold and flu season, so they were assuming it was viral at that time. It took some time for doctors to figure out this wasn't just an infection. Charlie was fighting something much more serious. Um, we brought him home from the hospital, thought we had a healthy, normal child. Um, nine days later, he started going into heart failure. Mom remembers a resident at the hospital noticed it first. Charlie had a heart gallop. It's like a murmur caused by fluid surrounding his walnut-sized heart. From there, went and did the, the echo cardiogram and um, determined that he had a complex heart condition or congenital heart defect. Charlie and his family would take the trip many heart warriors take across the state line to C.S. Mott Children's Hospital in Ann Arbor. Doctors there found the newborn had a hypoplastic aortic arch. That meant part of his heart was blocked. Additionally, they found an atrial septal defect, ASD, or a hole in his heart. Charlie would need life-saving surgery. Um, I don't think we had a whole lot of time to realize what was happening. We were kind of in shock. Surgeons use Gore-Tex to repair the hole and cadaver skin to fix the arch. Charlie and his family would spend the next month in the hospital as he recovered from the procedure. And mom watched as more kids came and went. One of the hardest things was is, you know, you're going through this up and down roller coaster with your own child. And then next to you in the bay, you know, the child next door might have to go through a heart transplant. Charlie is not alone. The CDC says nearly one out of every 100 babies are born with a heart defect. One in four, like Charlie, require surgery. That means approximately one out of every 400 moms will have to see their child like this. It took a tremendous emotional to toll, and um, I think we all kind of found strength, you know, more than we ever could have imagined having. That toll is something parents carry with them all the while trying to make sure their kids know just how strong they really are. We're very open about talking with him about it and um, we tell him how brave he is and how he's our little heart, heart warrior. And this little warrior is fierce. Today I got to eat a pizza bagel. With a heart of gold, he and his family give back to others going through the same thing every year, donating a special toy that helped Charlie while he was in the hospital. Give them the vibrating ribs and it makes them happy because, because those are little some toys that, that, that we gotta give them and that makes them happy because they can bring them home. Home. But look at Where Charlie Helvey's heart truly is. He's doing so well, and he may have to get more surgeries as he grows. His mom is a board member for the American Heart Association, that group dedicated to raising awareness and sharing information about heart health. And we've posted more information and how you can help children like Charlie on our website. Just go to WTOL.com.